Those are some meats. What's up everyone? This is Scott with Team 512 and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, a very warm welcome to you. And thank you to everyone for spending part of your day with me. Now I just got back from Cars and Coffee this morning and uh, if I'm a little shaky still, watch this video up here and you'll see why. So what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna lower the C7 on the stock bolts. Aren't we, Sully? You gonna help me? Oh, good boy. So I'm gonna take off the front wheels and the back wheels and use the lift so I can get you some really good camera shots and see exactly how to do this. So as you can see at stock ride height, the lift arms swing just underneath of the car. As soon as I lower it on stock bolts though, I'm gonna to have to drive up on blocks. All right, so before we lower on stock bolts, we wanna take some measurements at all four corners. That way, once it gets lowered, we'll be able to see how much of a drop the stock bolts will get a C7. Front right, 27 and 5 eighths. Rear right is 28 and 3 quarters. Exactly 28 and 3 quarters on the left side of the car. And let's see how close the front left is to the front right. Yep. Front left is exactly the same. 27 and 5 eighths. All right, now that we have our measurements down, we can go ahead and lift the C7 up and start taking the wheels off. All right, car's up on the lift. Let's get these wheels off and get to work. I know there's cordless impact guns. Your cordless impact gun doesn't sound like this. <laughs> to a car guy or gal, I don't think there's a better sound when you're working in the garage. <laughs> Those are some meats. So you don't have to take the wheels off in order to lower your car on stock bolt. Turn the wheel, get your hand in there and adjust the bolt. I just did it because, well, I've got a lift and I've got the tools and I can get all four wheels off pretty quick and pretty easy. Plus, I want to make sure I get some really good camera angles for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, you guys. So right there, it's got a little yellow paint on it. That is the bolt we will be adjusting. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. We will be turning this bolt counterclockwise. If you don't have access to a lift, you can do it at home with a jack and a jack stand or two jacks. It might take a little longer just because you've got to jack up all four points on the car. You can still do it, obviously, without a lift. I'm going to do it with the lift and a jack stand. And really, all you need to do is just take a little bit of pressure, a little bit of weight off of the transverse mounted leaf spring, which is this thing right here. All right, so here I am in the wheel well of the C7. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this jack stand here, and I am going to go ahead and lower the car so that the jack stand comes in contact with the leaf spring, relieves some of that pressure. That way, that 10 millimeter bolt will, uh, will be pretty easy to turn. All right, so just a little bit of tension off of the leaf spring will help the bolt turn fairly easily. All right, I just felt the bolt bottom out all the way. 
I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little bit of a turn, maybe quarter turned, and that's really all you have to do. So we'll just go ahead and do the back. We're all the way there. Now like I did with the front, it's just a little bit, maybe quarter turn. Passenger side is done. We'll go over to the driver's side. I'll repeat the procedure. I'll put the wheels back on, lower it down, measure it, take it for a spin, and when everything settles, I'll measure it again and see how much we dropped C7 on stock bolts. All right, so you guys know you don't want to tighten your lug nuts with an impact gun. So what I do is put it on its lowest setting, thread the lug nut on by hand first, you saw me do that, and then I just zap them real quick with the impact gun, and I've tested it before, and it gets them to about 80, 85 foot-pounds. And then I lower the car, and I come back with my torque wrench, snug them up to 100 foot-pounds. You never want to use an impact gun to put lug nuts back on, unless you're using a torque stick. So the C7 is safely on the ground. And remember when I told you guys I'd have to lower it on blocks? Well, there you go. There is no way to get these lift arms out from under the rockers of the C7 any longer. Now, I can't do any measurements because, well, I'm sitting up on blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque all of the lug nuts down and then back the car out move the box, bring it back in, and we'll do kind of a pre-drive measurement. We're gonna go for a lap around, bring it back, and see if the suspension has settled anymore. So I just got back from a quick drive to the auto parts store so I could get some glass cleaner and some wheel cleaner. And uh, I'm hoping the suspension settled a little bit and we can get a more accurate measurement on how low we actually dropped the C7 on the stock bolts. Let's check it out. All right, front wheel is now at 26 and three quarters. And the rear is at 27 and a half. Let's go check the other side and make sure we have the same measurements or something very close on the driver's side. Okay, so I just got done measuring the driver's side and out front we have 26 and seven eighths. And on the rear we have 27 and 7 eighths. So, very close, very close. I think we just need to uh, let the car settle another day or two, go back and measure it again, and uh, we wanna try to get the car to ride as level as possible. Now, let's do some quick math. All right, after some quick math, it looks like we lowered the front right side by 7 eighths, and the front left side by three quarters of an inch, the rear right side by an inch and a quarter, and the driver's side or left rear by seven eighths of an inch. So like I said, I'm gonna drive the car for a couple more days and recheck the measurements. And uh, if they're still um, kind of far apart, we're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments to the bolts just so we can get the car to ride more level. Now, on the drive I just did, I noticed no difference in ride quality. Tour mode was still very compliant and sport mode felt like sport mode. So uh, no real difference in ride quality. I didn't scrape coming in or out of my 
uh, driveway and I do have a pretty big hump at the end of my driveway so I thought I was going to scrape the front but I didn't. Let's pull it outside and uh, and take a look at it. All right so we just pulled the C7 outside. Uh, this is the first time you're going to see it lowered on stock bolts. I'll put a before and after picture up on the screen so you can see for yourself the difference that it made. So here we go guys. This is the newer, lower version of the Grand Sport. What do you think? Can you see a difference? Let's go around to the other side, see if we can see a difference over here. I think so. Yeah, I definitely think I noticed a difference there. Um, I, I'm anxious to see the before and after pictures so that we can actually see uh, what a drop of about an inch all the way around, give or take uh, an eighth to a quarter of an inch is really what you're gonna get out of lowering on stock bolts. Can you go lower on this car? Yep, you can buy aftermarket bolts and it'll take it down, I guess another half, maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, but I'm gonna drive this around for a few days and just see how it settles. So. Uh, there you go guys, thanks again for uh, stopping by and watching my channel. There's so much good content on YouTube around Corvettes and cars, I really appreciate the time you take to watch my tiny itty bitty small channel. And uh, for those of you who've hit that subscribe button, thanks for helping me grow. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, why not? Do it right now. Hit the like button too, and also leave me some comments. That's my favorite part. I love interacting with people who love cars and Corvettes just as much as I do. Till next time, see ya. Are you hanging out in the sunshine? Huh? Are you hanging out in the sunshine? Look at you. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy.